And last one, which uh, is really helpful for Fab Academy classes, is when you need to combine laser cut design and 3D printing design in one project. And this one will be very, very fast and simple. So for this one, first we need Inkscape. And here uh, you need to install Tab Box Maker tool. And I already created uh, the box. Uh, you basically can create any box with that. Uh, apply and here I have box created. You save it as DXF file. This one uh, millimeters. Check if there are millimeters. It's the most important. Then you go to, back to Fusion and you go to Sketch. And in here, insert, insert DXF file and just open your DXF file I created before box. So it will bring this beautiful already designed type the box with all the tolerances uh, for the burnout. So if I inspect this one, you can see that the length is uh, 6.3. And uh, in here, it will be 6 point, uh, almost 6.2. So there is a compensation for the burnout. And from here, you can select all the bodies, all the uh, profiles, and extrude them to bodies in here in one command. Basically, I selected all. Can you explain, Gleb, we, we still have plenty of time, so can you explain very briefly what is the burnout? Because there might be some people who, who doesn't know that term. Why do we need this? 0 okay. 0.1, 0 0.2. Uh, this box is specifically designed to be made on the laser cutter and a laser beam has bit, so it takes some material, like if you cut some plywood with a saw, uh, this cut has some width. And if you want to connect our box with this finger joint or tabs, you basically want them to be a little bit narrower in here where is the slot and a little bit wider on the finger so they will fit tightly together and they will hold by press fit uh, so yeah basically for this we need to adjust it a little bit and uh, it's really hard to make this one in fusion at least i haven't found any easy way to make it otherwise but bring it from Inkscape, where it takes really two minutes to uh, design. And after that, uh, I started aligning all the box parts between them. So for this, I used a line function. And this one, can be tricky to use in the beginning so you just uh, hover on the face then you can press ctrl to uh, lock this face so if i hover in some other face it won't be selected like this so sorry Gleb, we have a question uh, from yep. jenny uh, she asked uh, offset offset face wouldn't work to make the curve uh, it would work, uh, but basically what you need to do is to make that, you need to chain select all those faces. Those. And probably actually those. And yeah, of course, you can do it. And it's one of the options but it's much much easier uh, if you bring it from inkscape in here when you 
design the laser tool um, when you use the laser tool box, box maker. Uh, here you can specify it, joint clearance, curve, curve, sorry. Uh, and here it's just one value you need to add. And there you need to chain select many, many faces. It just saves tons of time. So, but yeah, in general, offset face will do the job perfectly. And align. So you choose some point, for example, this one. I find it easy to align it like that. And then this point should go to basically this point. And if I just flip it around, it's aligned perfectly. It will be middle point of the small finger there to the midpoint of the slot there. And since the part is symmetric, it works absolutely perfectly. And I did the same for all the parts like that. And this is the divider. And then I added some appearance. So there is a contrast to it. And on this, at this point, uh, you actually can modify it. So you have the box which you, uh, which you designed in escape. And here you can add holes. Let's say 20 millimeter. And not distance, but hole. Uh, 20. And we can align it to the midpoint. And something can go through that. Press OK. And after that, uh, there is one important thing you need to do. You need to create components from bodies. Actually, I did it on this step. So I selected all the bodies and clicked Create Components from Bodies. Uh, and this command created component from everybody. Uh, basically in Fusion, there is some inner logic that body is just an object and component is a, a little bit more complicated object. You can add more features to it and you can create joints between components, but you cannot really create joints between bodies. So after you created all components, uh, you made all the uh, changes you needed to the box. You can use one very neat command. Uh, it's called um, arrange. In here, you just specify uh, your building area. For example, for laser cutting, uh, it can be limited by basically your laser cutter work surface uh, and your material, of course. In here, you select all components and you press OK. And it basically auto arranges on the table. Well, actually, it arranges all the components on the surface you chose in here. And from here, it's really easy to go drawing, drawing from design and full assembly. Uh, create new from scratch. Uh, you can choose the uh, sheet size. Press OK. And you can put here you no know, ratio one to one. And now it will be ready in a few moments. And style just visible edges. Okay, I just move it. Like that. And I will rotate it 
90 degrees so it, it will feed the page okay like that and you can delete this one this one so basically this file you can save as pdf and you can bring it to your laser cutter and if you unmark line weights it will create those hairlines which if you can understand and cut just like that output as pdf and just save it somewhere and uh, this one is really handy when you need to combine 3d printing and laser cutting in one design and you want uh, your original laser cut box to be in your 3d design and when you work especially on your final project and if you use something like that it can be very helpful for example it can be easy, easily you can add a 3d printed handle in here and it will be a drawer or basically you can make many many things with just bringing the tap box to your design and it's really easy i was really happy when i found it i have one question when when you define the when you export the pdf can you define the thickness of the hairline because yes. you know some some of the yes there is laser box, cutters. Yeah. a box named line weights you can mark it or leave it unmarked and uh for a pillow laser cutter for our uh, you should leave it unmarked so no line weights okay so that's it for today that's what all what i have and yep thank you very much gleb so i'm going to perhaps uh, let me put a little bit more light it's already dark here uh, well it's a little bit perhaps for some of you it's a little bit advanced but i think gleb has presented a lot of tricks that when you start using a uh, fusion 360 or if you have been using fusion 360 it will help you a lot actually some of the uh, features some of the tools i i didn't even know them and i have been using fusion for five six years so it's it's really nice and and you have i think there are three good examples of of projects that that uh, at some time you you might need to 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 build either to the first one is for uh, characterizing the tolerance of your 3d printer the second one is if you want to have sometimes you need pieces where you need to have some nodes bolts inside uh, and 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 you want to do it while it is it, it it is printing so they are how captive inside the the piece and then the third one is very useful if if you want to bring together a laser cut box with 3d printer parts or even if you need to do some uh, let's say a little bit more advanced uh, modifications to the to the box that perhaps in the in 2D are not that easy to do. So you can first move the box to to 3D, make the modifications, and then go back to to 2D for for laser cutting. 